morning, my name is Hans Ulrich Obrist, I'm co-director of the Serpentine Gallery. We're here in Kensington Gardens in front of our Su Fujimoto Pavilion. Julia Peyton Johns and I uh, invited Su Fujimoto to design the 2013 uh, pavilion. It is basically um, relevant, I think, in relation to both you know, uh, the architectural discussion but also to many digital discussions. Because the pavilion is a kind of a cloud, it depends very much where one stands where one sees it from. From a certain perspective, it appears like a city hovering above Kensington Gardens. However, the closer one gets, it becomes a house with many niches where one can actually, uh, in a very physical way, interact with it. It's also a structure um, to make a lot of photographs. You've never had more uh, photographs online of any pavilion. It's very much a structure to make a lot of selfies, but a lot of group pictures as well, because visitors can actually, you know, get up these different structures and you know experience the pavilion both from inside from below from above and there are many many different uses and the idea really of the uh, um, of the serpentine gallery uh, is uh, art for all and that applies also to architecture when Julia started and invented the architecture commission in 2000 the idea was to um, uh, and is still is and more than ever to actually uh, basically um, give architecture to everyone who comes to the park it's free admission and that means also that actually we create situations of common situation where we have uh, something which uh, you know people don't have to pay for which they can actually use like the park in this sense it's an analogy the pavilion and the serpentine in terms of exhibitions are as accessible as the park one can go on a walk through Kensington Gardens and then come and see our shows and a pavilion that leads obviously to lots of different you know use lots of different forms of interaction people in the morning come jogging and experience the pavilion whilst jogging then at the same time it's possible to read a newspaper have a cup of coffee uh, some people come and do gatherings it's used a lot also for self organized gatherings it's a meeting point and then we organize very often you know in the evening lectures readings uh, on Fridays there are at the course uh, park nights and we are working as always in uh, close collaboration with the LD on the on the marathon at this year's marathon we'll have the topic of uh, 89 plus it's a project Simon Castets and I started actually at the LD as always the LD is an amazing laboratory for new ideas because the platform where uh, basically, we go. One can go beyond the fear of pooling knowledge. Something Steffi Czerny always said: this idea of bringing the knowledge together, of bringing the disciplines together, and that's very much also at the forefront of what um, we want to do with the marathons at the Serpentine. And the idea, really, of each year finding a topic where we can bring the different disciplines together in an exchange and create, in this sense, what uh, Isabel Stengers and the application would call nouvelles alliances, new alliances, new alliances of knowledge, new alliances between people. Um, and uh, Simon and I started at DLD this uh, 89 plus research, which is really to for the first time look into this uh, generation. Uh, the year before, we did uh, basically the idea of uh, post internet art that we wanted to look into with 89 plus into a generation of artists who actually grew up with the internet. It's the first generation in 89, Tim Bernard Lee's invented the World Wide Web. At the same time, we have the fall of the Berlin Wall. But we have also a new generation who is born, who is the first generation who actually grew up with digital uh, technology um, and as Ryan Tricartin uh, famously said last year uh, it's going to be such an exciting generation you know artists poets writers born in you know in the 90s and the idea is to really for the first time with this project may make a kind of a global mapping of uh, this generation so we will have um, in uh, October during the Freeze Art Fair a big gathering uh, and a marathon is a format where there are both performances readings lectures um, all kinds of you know um, all kinds of uh, uh, happenings uh, and uh, in this sense it's almost like also a group exhibition where the participants are giving uh, are given um, uh, actually time and not given space so what else could we say is that a